So the next topic that we would like to cover is how do you add your SSL certificates to Bomni on Docker? So by default, Bomni ships with the default self-signed SSL certificate and the SSL certificates comes pre-built in the proxy container under the etc slash TLS directly. So now if you have your own set of certificates, you can replace those certificates by volume mounting. Or let's say if you want to generate a certificate, you can use a tool, acme.assets. We have used this tool a couple of times and this seems to be good. So you can use this tool to generate your own certificate. So we'll see both the options. How do you replace the existing certificate or how do you generate and put up that certificate? So let's go into the demo. <clears throat> we'll go back and I'll search. And we want to look more. Yeah. So so now first let's see the step for example let's say based on your provider your domain register or your domain manager dns manager would give you a, give you some ssl certificates based on the plans you purchase so now once you have that certificate you can add it to the container proxy container by volume mounting so to show that as an example i have set the certificates in my search folder so it can be at any folder on your host path and you can mount that so I'll go into the search folder now and say, I'll have these two files, sir.pem, key.pem. So this should be noted that when you volume mount these files, the file name should be in the same name. It should be sir. The certificate should be in sir.pem and the private key should be in the name of key.pem. So now let's copy this path. I'll give PWD and this is where my certificates are found. I'll copy this path and I'll now go back to Bomni Docker. Docker and go to Bangni standard. Yeah, and then so let's so first step is now we need to go into the Docker compose file. I'll open the Docker compose file. Nano Docker compose .yaml. and then if you head over the to the proxy container, you will see there is a volume that's commented. It says certificate path it is slash tls. So we'll uncomment this. And so you can either add the certificate path to your .env file, or you can replace it directly here. So let's add it in the env file itself. Hang on. Save it. Exit, save, enter, and I'll open my .env. And then in this, I'll add certificate underscore path with this variable. Save X, save modify properties, save it. And now we'll start back the containers again. Did not find the expected key. Yeah, I mean, okay. Just I think I made some indentation error. Yeah, so now as we can see, since we added a new volume mount to the proxy container, only the proxy container gets recreated. Yeah. So now once this is recreated, now if we go back and close this window to avoid any caches, let's say I'll go to training.mybomni.in. Now we can see the trusted SSL certificate has been used. So as we go here and if we say connection is secure, we can see it says the certificate is valid and it's generated. Yeah. So this is how, if you have a certificate, if you have the certificate file and the key file, get it to your host machine, create, uncomment the volume mount and you can have the SSL certificates added. Now, let's say if you want to create the certificates, uh, the tool is acme.assets, which you can use. So it supports different options to generate the SSL certificate. Now, if you head over to their repository, they have this documentation and these are all the different OS they support. And they these are all the certificate authorities they support as well. By default, they allow us creating zero SSL certificates. We can create with let's encrypt as well. So now let's go ahead and do the installation. We'll start with the installation from here. And 
Remember, we enter my name. Yep, so this will download and install acme.sh now. Now, yeah, now we have installed. So the next step is to issue the certificate. So in order for the certificate to be issued, uh, the tool needs to do the domain validation. And for that, there are different options possible. So either the certificate can be issued. If you have the web server, you can run the web server, run, open it for the certificate. That, that's an option. Or there are different options possible. For example, you can use Apache mode. You can use an Nginx, separate Nginx server. Or the other options is automatic DNS API integration. So they support DNS API integration for different providers. I'll just quickly open it up. Depending on your domain register, who, where you manage your uh, DNS connections, you can use any of these APIs. So they are support Cloudflare, they support DNS Spot CN, like most of the popular mm -hmm. DNS providers are supported here. Yeah, so since our domain is registered with AWS Route 53, we'll use this for now. So we'll use this, we can use this command. So after installation, maybe I just exit this. I need the contain and the terminal to be loaded. Exit out and I'll SSH again. Yeah, so I'll go here and then I'll say acme.sh issue. Operate from the wrong place. I should copy from AWS. This is the one. Yeah. So our domain is uh, raining. Dot my bombing dot in. Yeah, so this is verifying the text records that gets added in the route 53. So if none of the DNS API integration helps out to you, you can also follow the manual mode that's supported here, that's mentioned here. You can create the certificate manually and you would get the text records displayed on the shell and you can add it to your DNS provider and that should also work. The only problem with this manual mode is now when the certificate expires, let's say after 90 days, you need to manually get into the instance and then renew the certificate manually again. But if you go with the DNS API mode, this tool itself takes care of renewing the certificates automatically. Yeah, so the certificate provisioning is success. So as we can see, the certificate are downloaded and it's in the appropriate locations now. So now the next option is, as they suggest, after issuing a certificate, we need to install the certificate. Uh, where is it? Yeah, <clears throat> so install this to Apache or Nginx. So since our Apache is running in a container, we'll again follow the volume mount approach. So first we'll go and create a directory where we can volume mount. So let's say in this folder, I'll create a directory as uh, Acme search. Yeah, so the directory would be created now. And now I'll copy this command. Okay, I'll copy this. And then here, so now since our container is running inside Docker, we can give the Docker re restart command here so that whenever a certificate is renewed our container would be restarted automatically so we'll say cd slash forms open to 
one hyphen docker slash one hyphen standard. So this is where we, our Docker compose file is there. And then I'll say Docker compose restart proxy. So when the certificate when the certificate in the volume mount changes, we need to restart Apache so that the new certificate will be served for the upcoming requests. So this is the command. And then now let's change the path to the certificate file and the key file. So again, the path would be slash home slash Ubuntu slash. So the folder that we created is that many hyphen search. That many hyphen search. Let's change it. I'll copy this. Slash key dot okay. Yeah, so now once we do this, okay, domain, we missed it. Dot my dot in. Yeah, so as we can see, it installed the cert and it reloaded our container as well. So now if I do ls at my search, we can see the cert file, key file, and the pem file got installed here. And it would be so now once the cert is installed, we need to change the volume. Now I again dot env because it would be pointing to our old path. Bunny Docker, Bunny Standard, Nano dot env, and it's pointing to our old path. Let's change it. Let's say now I want to use the search that generated. I'll say acme hyphen search. Let's y enter. Now I'll do Docker compose up minus t again. Yeah, so now since the volume mount changed, it restarted the container. Now we'll go back to our browser. We'll close this incognito mode. I'll open up a new one. And let's say I'll say training that my bomb need open. Yeah, the certificate is trusted. And if we go here, if we see the certificate validity, yes, it says it's generated now. So any questions? So we have just tried one of the modes, uh, which is with uh, uh, AWS Route 53 API. Depending on your DNS provider, you can try whatever mode that's supported here. Either you can so, go with DNS. Can you yeah. please show the terminal once again? Yes. Thank you. So the steps would be basically you install acme.sh first and then you issue a certificate based on your DNS provider and then you install the certificate with the Docker command. We'll put the, put this up in a wiki page and then share it with you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Okay, seems like none. We'll stop the recording and start it again before we move on.